Hello, students. Welcome to Lesson 3. In today's reading lesson, we will start looking at consonants. Let's start with today's contents. 1. Consonants Overview We will get a working definition of consonants, and we will list out the different kinds of consonants. 2. Nonsense syllables. We will practice syllables using one of the groups of consonants. Stop consonants. Think of this exercise as a warm up or a drill. 3. T and D word comparison. We will look at words beginning with the consonant letters T and D. 4. T and D phrases. We will practice reading phrases that include the T and D words from today's lesson. What is a consonant? Let's start with a list and then move on to a definition. Here we can see the alphabet. We covered the alphabet in lesson one. On the left, we can see the vowel letters, A, E, I, O, and U. We covered vowels in lesson two. And on the right, we can see the 21 consonant letters. There, now we have a list. Of course, now we need a definition. What is a consonant? Maybe an easy definition is to just say that a consonant is any letter that is not a vowel. Some of your teachers will, for instance, say that A is a vowel and that B is a consonant. Other teachers will insist that B is just a letter while its sound the b sound is the real consonant. Yeah, they are both right. Just to avoid confusion, you might hear me make a distinction saying consonant letter and consonant sound. I hope that helps. So the simple definition of a consonant sound is a sound that you cannot change the volume or the tone. Can you say the A sound quietly and loudly? Yes, because A is a vowel. A. A. Can you say the T sound quietly and loudly? Not really, because T is a consonant. Can you change the tone of the A sound? Yes, because A is a vowel. A, A, A. Can you change the tone of the T sound? No, because T is a consonant. T, T, T. The next thing I need you to understand is that consonant sounds can be separated into four main categories. Here is the list. Stop consonants, fricative consonants, nasal consonants, and gliding consonants. Today, we are working on Stop consonants. Stop consonants are pronounced with a single puff of air. Now, if I ask you to pronounce the T sound three times in a row, just the T sound with no vowel, it will sound like this. T, T, T. In contrast, if I were to ask you to pronounce the S 
sound three times in a row, you might be able to do the same with three puffs of air. You might also just merge all three S's to produce a longer S sound. You can't do that with the T sound. How is that? The consonants that stop after a single puff of air are called stop consonants. The next concept that you need to grasp is that consonant sounds tend to get paired up. One example is the letters T and D. The consonant sounds are produced in nearly identical ways. Tongue, teeth, and lips are in the same position. Some YouTubers will even zoom in on their mouths to prove this. Not this YouTuber. Just look in a mirror and repeat the T and D sounds and you will see that your mouth is in the same position. Now, I'm sure you can hear a difference between the T and D sounds. The difference is that the T sound is unvoiced and that the D sound is voiced. Looking at the order of the alphabet, this relationship between the T sound and the D sound is not very obvious. Here I'm going to show you some Japanese characters. Don't worry, you don't have to speak Japanese. Just look at these characters. Here we go. Ta, da. Te, de. To, do. Don't worry that to and do look like the English words to and do. The Japanese characters on the right are nearly identical to the characters on the left, except that the ones on the right have those two little lines in the top right corner. Those little lines are called dakuten. You don't have to remember any Japanese words today. Just hear a word and see a thing. Also, we are not talking about Japanese. We are talking about unvoiced consonants and voiced consonants. The characters with the dakuten are voiced. The ones without the dakuten are unvoiced. This relationship exists in every language, including, of course, English, even though it is not as obvious as in Japanese. First, let me list the unvoiced stop consonants. T, P, K, CH. Right now, you might notice that the fourth on the list, CH, is two letters. I know, the CH sound in English doesn't have its own letter. Instead, it has a digraph. That means that two letters, C, and H are used to represent one sound, ch. The other three are pretty straightforward. The first sound in each of these letters' names is the sound that the letter represents. The T makes the t sound. The P makes the p sound. The K makes the k sound. Now, each of these consonants is unvoiced. Here is the question for you. What are the voiced versions of t, p, k, and ch? You already know that t and d are a pair. What about the others? Pause the video if you need a second or two. The voiced counterparts are 
D, B, G, and J. These eight letters, let's pretend CH is a letter. These eight letters are the stop consonants. The four on the left are unvoiced, and the four on the right are their voiced counterparts. T and D are a pair. P and B are a pair. K and G are a pair. And CH and J are a pair. Now let's do some practice drills. Our first drill is to turn these stop consonants into syllables. That means that we need vowels. We are going to start off with stop consonants with uh, long vowel sounds. Try to say these syllables out loud. You can pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, let's go. Repeat after me. One, te, ti, tai, to, two, two, de, di, dai, do, do, number three, pe, pi, pi, po, pu, pew, number four, Bay, B, Bye, Bo, Boo, Bu, number five, K, Key, Kai, Ko, Ku, Q, number six. Gay, Gee, Guy, Go, Goo, Gu, Number Seven, Che, Chi, Chai, Cho, Chu, Number Eight, J. G, Jai, Joe, Jew. How was that? Good, I hope. I just want to be clear that we are practicing with nonsense syllables right now. These are not words. You might say the syllable T and then think that it is a hot beverage or a golf term? Not yet. The drink T is spelled T-E-A and the golf term T is spelled T-E-E. -E. Both make the T sound. Also, you might notice that the long U sound is possible after the letters P, B, K, and G, but after T, D, C-H, and J, only the long Ooh sound is uttered. The reason is difficulty. Some sounds are easier to produce. Pew with a P is easy, but tew with a T is hard. Next, we are going to practice the stop consonants with the short vowel sounds. Try to say these syllables out loud. You can pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, let's go. Repeat after me. Number one, ta, te, te, ta, ta. Number two, da, de, de, da, da. Number three, pa. Pe, pe, pa, pa. Number four, ba, 
B B Ba Ba Number five Ka Ka Ke Ka Ka Number six Ga Ga Ge Ga Ga Number seven Cha Che Che Cha Cha Number eight Ja Je Ja Ja Okay, good. Let me just say one thing about short vowel sounds. You don't have to say them as quickly as possible. In fact, it is probably better for you to draw out the sounds to avoid sounding choppy. If English is your second language and you find native speakers keep asking you to repeat yourself, one tip is to make your vowel sounds longer. Okay, now the syllables are arranged a little differently. Try to say them out loud. You can pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, let's go. Repeat after me. One, te, de, pe, be, K gay che j number two t d p b key g chi g number three tie die Hi. Bye. Kai. Guy. Chai. Jai. Number four. To. Do. Po. Bo. Ko. Go. Cho. Jo. Number five, two, do, poo, boo, coo, goo, chew, jew. Number six, pew, bew, cue, gew. Let's continue. Pause and restart the video when you are ready. Let's go. Repeat after me. Number one. Ta. Da. Pa. Ba. Ka. Ga. Cha. Ja. Number two. Te. De. Pe. Be. Ke. Ge. Che. Je. Number three. Te. De. Pe. Be. Ke. Ge. Che. Je. Number four. Ta. Da, pa, ba, ka, ga, cha, ja. Number five. Ta, da, pa, ba, ka, ga. Cha, ja. Now let's jump into our first pair, T and D, or the T 
and D sounds. This is the focus of today's lesson. Pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, repeat after me. Number one, te, ta, de, da. Number two, t, te, d, de. Number three, tai, te, die, de. Number four, to, ta, do, da. Number five, tu, ta, do, da. Now it is time to step it up and practice with words. Pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, we are going to go from the top down in pairs. Repeat after me. Number one, ta, tap, da, dad. Number two, te, tape, day, date. Number three, Te, test, de, desk. Number four, t, teen, d, deep. Number five, t, tip, de, dip. Number six, tie. Time, die, dime. Number seven, ta, top, da, dog. Number eight, toe, tone, do, dome. Number nine, ta, tub. Da, duck. Number ten, two, tube, do, dude. Number eleven, t, tush. The u uh sound in tush doesn't have an example starting with a d. I have checked dictionaries. If you can find a word that begins with the de sound, let me know in the comments. For now, I have to just put an asterisk in its place. Now let's look at the words we have practiced in short phrases. We do this to add a little more meaning. These are my examples, but if you want to go back to the original list of words and try making your own phrases, that is a very good exercise. Just think of something beyond the letters and sounds, something meaningful. For example, if you see T-A-P, you say tap. Then you think to yourself, tap my fingers on the table. See, you are not just getting the sound tap, you are expressing the meaning in a phrase. Now, I am going to read these phrases. If you want to pause the video and try reading on your own first, now is the time. Here I go. One, ta, tap your foot. Two, te, security, Tape. Three. Te. Math. Test. Four. T. Teen. Fashion. Five. T. Tip your waiter. Six. T. 
Thai. Time to eat. Seven. Ta. Top and bottom. Eight. To. Musical tone. Nine. Ta. Tub of butter. Ten. Two. Tube of toothpaste. Eleven. To. Sit on your tush. Let's continue. Number one. Da. Mom and dad. Two. Day. Date of birth. Three. De. Front. Desk. Four. D. Deep. Water. Five. De. Chip. Dip. Six. Die. A ten cent coin is a dime. Seven. Da. Cat and dog. Eight. Do. Tokyo Dome is a baseball stadium. Nine. Da. A duck and a goose. Ten. Do. There is a dude in the ladies' room. Next, let's try reading the following words. Pause and restart the video when you are ready. Okay, let's go. Repeat after me. Number one. Ta. Tax. Tab. Tan. Tack. Number two. Te. Take. Tame. Tail. Tail. Number three. Te. Ten. Tell. Tent. Text. Number four. T. T. Teeth. Team. Teach. Tease. Number five. T. Tin. Tick. Tilt. Tim. Number six. Tie. Tied. Tile. Type. Tie. Tiger. Number seven. Ta. Toss. Tom. Todd. Number eight. Toe. Toast. Toad. Toe. Tony. Number nine. Ta. Tug. Tuck. Tusk. Tunnel. Number ten. Two. Tune. Tuna. Tuba. Tulip. Let's continue with words beginning with the consonant letter D. Number one. Da. Dam. Dash. Damp. Dance. Number two. Day. Dale. Dane. Days. Daisy. Number three. De. Den. Dent. Depth. Deck. Delta. Number four. D. Deed. Deem. Deal. Deny. Decay. Number five. De. Did. Dim. Dish. Disc. 
Number six, die, dice, dive, dine, die. Number seven, daw, dot, dock, doll, dodge, doctor. Number eight, do, dope, domain, dose, donation, doze. Number nine, duh, dud, dug, dust, dull, dusk. Number ten, do, duke, dune, do, duty, dupe. Okay, we are going to practice with phrases again. We are starting with a short A sound. Feel free to pause the video and try to read them on your own first. Here I go. Number one, ta, income tax. Two, ta, pull the tab. Three, ta, a sunburn or a tan. Four, ta, attack in the bulletin board. Five, da, a dam on the river. Six, da, dash out the door. Seven, da, damp clothes. Eight, da, dance to the music. Let's continue with the long A sound. Number one, te, take your time. Two, te, tame the tiger. Three, te, tell a tale. Four, te, a dog wagging its tail. Five, day, in the valley, in the dale. Six, day, a person from Denmark is a Dane. Seven, day, walking around in a daze. Eight, day, my favorite flower is the daisy. Let's continue. Short E sounds. Let's go. Number one. Te. Nine plus one is ten. Two. Te. Tell me the truth. Three. Te. Sleeping in a tent. Four. Te. Written words are sometimes called text. Five, de, a fox living in a den. Six, de, a dent in the car door. Seven, de, the submarine reached a depth of 50 meters. 8. De. Standing on the deck of the boat. 9. De. River Delta. The long E sound. Ready? Here we go. 1. T. Spill hot tea. 2. T. Brush your teeth. 3. T. Basketball team. 4. T. Teach your kids manners. 5. T. Don't tease the snake or else. 
6. D. A good deed is a kind of contribution. 7. D. He was deemed unworthy. 8. D. Deal with grass stains. 9. D. Deny my request. 10. D. Food will decay if you don't eat it. The short I sound. Here we go. Number one. T. Tin is a kind of metal. Two. T. Fleas and ticks. Three. T. Tilt his head to the left. Four. T. Tim is a boy's name. Five. D. Did the laundry. Six. D. Dim the lights. Seven. D. He broke a dish. Eight. D. A frisbee is shaped like a disc. The long I sound. Number one. Tie. High tide and low tide. Number two. Tie. Ceramic tile floor. Three. Tie. Type of fish. Four. Tie. Wear a tie. Five. Tie. A tiger in the jungle. Six. Die. Two. Six sided dice. Seven. Die. Dive into the pool. Eight. Die. Dine at a fancy restaurant. Nine. Die. Die laughing. Keep going. The short O sound. Number one. Ta. Toss the ball. Two. Ta. Tom is a boy's name. Three. Ta. Todd is a boy's name. Four. Da. The letter I has a dot over it. Five. Da. Sitting on the dock, watching the sunset. Six. Da. The little girl got a doll for Christmas. The long O sound. Here we go. One. Toe. Toast and jam. Two. Toe. A frog and a toad. Three. Toe. Stubbed my toe. Four. Toe. Tony is a boy's name. Five. Doe. Not a genius nor a dope. Six. Doe. In the public domain. Seven. Doe. A dose of medicine. Eight. Doe. Make a donation to a charity. 9. Do. Go to bed and doze off. The short U sound. Number 1. Ta. Tug the rope. 2. Ta. Tuck your shirt into your jeans. 3. Ta. Elephant tusk. 4. Ta. Drive through the tunnel. Five. Duh. A fake grenade is a dud. Six. Duh. The dog dug a hole. 
seven. Duh. Dust makes me sneeze. Eight. Duh. Dull colors or bright colors. Nine. Duh. From dusk to dawn. The long U sound. Number one. Two. Sing out of tune. Number two. Two. Tuna sandwich. Three. Two. Play the tuba. Four. Two. The tulip is a kind of flower. Five. Do. Duke is a rank of nobility. Six. Do. Sit on a dune in the desert. Seven. Do. The homework is due on Friday. Eight. Do. The guard is on duty. Nine. Do. Politicians try to dupe the voters. Okay, now, just in case you are still having trouble recognizing the relationship between T and D, let's look at some interesting examples. Look at these words. Go. So. No. To. Do. As expected, the first three follow rule one for long vowel sounds. The only exceptions are T and D, to and do. Weird, huh? Look at these words. Little, battle, better, water. Have you ever heard the T in these words pronounced like a D? Little, battle, better, water. It is fairly common to pronounce a T like a D in American English, especially when the T appears in the middle of a word. Another way to say this, perhaps a better way to say this, is that Americans sometimes voice the T. For instance, when you see two T's side by side. How about these words? Talked, pushed, kissed, watched, flipped. The D at the end of each of these words is pronounced like a T, isn't it? T. Or another way of saying it is that we unvoice the D at the ends of these words. My point, my main point, is that T and D are related. T is the unvoiced version. D is the voiced version. Sometimes we voice the T, sometimes we unvoice the D. Okay, it is time to sum up the lesson. Number one, consonants, sounds, and letters. Today was our first lesson on consonants. The word consonant refers to both the sounds and the letters. Number two, volume and tone. Vowels versus consonants. Consonants are different from vowels. One difference is that vowels can vary in volume and tone, but consonants cannot. Number three, stop, fricative, nasal, gliding. There are four main categories of consonants. Stop consonants, fricative consonants, nasal consonants, and gliding consonants. Number four, unvoiced stop 
consonants. T, P, K, CH. The unvoiced stop consonants are T, P, K, and CH, which produce the sounds T, P, K, and CH. Number five, voiced stop consonants. D, B, G, J. The voiced stop consonants are D, B, G, and J, which produce the sounds D, B, G, and J. Six, nonsense syllables, long and short vowel sounds. We practice the unvoiced and voiced stop consonants with nonsense syllables using long and short vowels. Although these are not real words, nonsense syllables are an essential exercise. Number seven, words, T and D. We practice reading words beginning with our first pair of stop consonants, T and D. Moving from nonsense syllables to words is an important step. Number eight, phrases, T and D. We practiced reading phrases, including words beginning with T and D. Moving from words to phrases is another important step. No surprises here. We go from easier exercises to harder exercises. And number nine, tell your friends. YouTube has what is called an algorithm. Think of an algorithm as a set of instructions based on a long, long equation. Some of the factors in the YouTube equation are number of views, number of minutes a video is watched, number of thumbs up, number of subscribers, number of new visitors, number of this, number of that. Now, I want to make some kind of social contribution and help people learn to read through phonics. That means I want to help you. And you can also make a contribution by helping me help others. Click like, click subscribe, and tell your friends. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time and be safe.